Hey guys, my name is Solar Shari from the Gaming Boys and today I'm going to show you how to convert your website into an iOS application. So let's get started. So first of all, you're going to want to open up Xcode, select a new project, then click on iOS. Next, you're going to want to choose single view application. So choose that, click next. Then you're going to want to name it. I'll just name it test app so then i'll select swift and iphone then i'll click next save it somewhere i'll just save it randomly and now your project's loading up so first of all you're going to want to go to your main dot storyboard this is your app's main interface what the user will see so over here you're going to want to search web view so you're going to want to drag the web view here and format it to fill up your device's screen. So I'm just going to drag it until it's a full screen view because you don't want your website to like display only half the screen. So next of all, you're going to want to open up your assistant editor. So in the assistant editor, you're going to want to first of all create at the top over here. You're just going to want to create a variable. So let's add some space here and do var website equals then you're going to want to make it a string https colon slash slash www dot your website dot com i'm going to use a test website i made for myself a long time ago so it's called the authority clan dot weebly dot com you can use Weebly or Wix websites. It doesn't make a difference. If you're not good at coding, you can just use Wix or Weebly. So you're going to want to do the authority clan or whatever your website is. Next of all, you're going to want to connect your web UI view right here. So you're going to want to go down, click on this, click on your web view, and then hold control and drag it right here. So here you get this option. You're just going to want to name it um, web page. So once you've done that, you can just click connect and that's done. So now you're going to want to go over here inside the super dot view did load. Just create some space. I like to keep my project spaced up. So you're going to want to write web page. So you want to do that web page dot load request so the web page dot load request and then you're going to want to load an nsurl i mean yeah an nsurl then you're going to write request re nsurl request and then you're going to want to go a uh, bracket and then you're going to write url then you're going to do that and then you're going to write nsurl and then you're going to want to make a string right here so you're going to want to do string and then you're going to want to do that and then you're going to write website in here so basically what this is doing is loading the web, web a website and the url is the variable website so as you can see the variable website is authorityclient.weebly.com so it's going to load up this so if i had to write google.com here it would load up google so once you've done that you're going to write website and then you want to close the brackets up and next you're going to want to add an exclamation mark oh sorry guys i made a mistake there exclamation mark and then so basically the, this this is declaring load the website and then you're going to do as url and then close a bracket and then as url request and then you want to close up a bracket and you're done the code so that's all the code you actually need to load up your website guys so i'm gonna see you guys inside the xcode simulator so we can test out our project and see how it looks so i'll see you in the simulator
So guys, now when you open up your project, you will see your website. I had to change mine because my website was having some issues. So I just changed the variable of website to www.youtube.com. And as you can see, when you op up my, open up my application, you will get youtube.com. So let me just show you the home screen. Come on, Dave. So I'll open up my app, and as you can see, it'll launch up YouTube. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Goodbye.